Okay, where'd your name come from? My name came from my full name, and I got it when I was in the Havoc Jones group. What's the Havoc Jones group? The Havoc Jones group was a group of four girls who's, who all was lead singers, and um, it was a great group. It was excellent. I, I left that group, though, because I wanted to become a solo artist. Yeah, well, okay, well, if the group is made of all four lead singers, all four probably want to be solo artists at some point, right? No, they all wanted to be in a group. Oh, okay. They definitely preferred the group over solo because four of us made a big team. Like, we all, it'll be days where we'll be like, oh, I don't want to go. And somebody look at you and be like, oh, we going, you know? So it was, it was a great thing. Is that group still uh, intact without you? or The group is actually broken up from what I've heard. But um, it was a great group, like I said. The girls, they were wonderful. I loved them all. We had a great bond. But I just wanted to be solo, you know? Are you still cool with any of the girls? I am. Okay. I am. Now, where are you from? I'm originally from Pensacola, Florida. Still living in Pensacola? Definitely not. I now reside here in Atlanta, Georgia. How, how long you been in Atlanta for? I've been here for quite some time now. And it's wonderful. Now, what's your opinion of the state of hip hop right now in the city of Atlanta? Um, it's very, very different. Everybody's doing their own different thing, you know. So we got a lot of different styles going on right now. It, 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 you know. Now, give me a tour of the city of Atlanta for someone that's never been there before. Let's start with the food. Favorite food spot in the city. My favorite food spot would have to be American Deli. Okay, American Deli. What, do you, what, what kind of spot is American Deli and what do you order from there? I always order their wings. I don't know what kind of spot it is, but I always get the lemon pepper chicken. <laughs> I don't know nothing else that they sell, but the lemon pepper chicken. That's what I get every time and I make them wet. Best lemon pepper in the city? Best lemon pepper chicken ever, other than my cooking, of course. Okay. Now, okay, what about um, the nightlife? Strip mm -hmm. clubs, regular clubs? Let's start with strip clubs first. Favorite strip club in the city? Favorite strip club? Magic City. Why? There's they, a lot of strip clubs in Atlanta. Why that one? They be really, really lit. Like, they dancers are really, really pretty, and it's always turnt when you go in Magic City. Monday their best night? I've heard Fridays. Okay. I've heard Magic City Mondays. <laughs> Is it Mondays? <laughs> yeah, I think it's Monday. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it may be Monday. <laughs> Maybe for you it was a Friday. It Maybe. probably just was a Friday for me, but okay. Well, they were lit on Fridays, too. <laughs> now, what about regular nightclubs? Favorite regular nightclub in the city? Mansion Elon. They always so pack. I love a pack club, you know? Now, uh, which night do you go there? Um, Mansion Elon, because I believe it's two nights that they're, they're really, really packed. I went to Mansion, I believe, on Saturdays. Like, but anytime I go in Mansion, they all waste it. Like, anytime. Yeah, I think Friday's the younger crowd, and Saturday's more, a little bit older. Oh, okay, okay, well. But I believe those are their biggest nights. Okay, yeah. For, for the urban community. Now, okay, we talked about the food, we talked about the nightlife. Any other spots, someone first time visiting Atlanta, see, do, or visit while they're in town? Anything you recommend? Um, I liked Harlem Nights and the compound. The compound was hot. I would recommend them to go to the compound, definitely. These are clubs? It's a club, club okay. compound. Now, what about the lingo? The lingo? Any, any, any terms or phrases one might hear in the city of Atlanta? Right about now. Shouty, Brody, what's happening? <laughs> what, is so, what do some of these terms or phrases mean? What's happening? What's happening means yeah, what's break going it, break on. It down. Huh? No, I was saying break it down. Go ahead. Oh, what's happening means what's going on, like what's popping. Shouty is like, that's your friend, that's your partner. What's up, Shouty? And uh, the Brody thing is like another turn for a partner. Like, that's my Brody, you know? Like, that's my homeboy. 
or homegirl, or is that strictly a, like a guy term? Uh, you know, I've only used it on guys. Like, I'd be like, what's up, Brody? I've never used it on a girl. <laughs> what about shoddy? Shoddy? I've said shoddy to females. What's up, shoddy? <laughs> you know? <laughs> shoddy is for the women and the men, so. Okay, now what was it like for you growing up in the city of Atlanta? Paint the picture for us. It was a struggle for me growing up. Um, I didn't come from a family that had, you know, what people have nowadays. But um, it was a struggle for me. But, you know, I came around. I'm following my dream. What type of student were you in school? I was an A-B on a roll student. I was bad as hell, but I was an A-B on a roll student. I was always the class cr clown. <laughs> Graduated high school? I did. Tried college? No, sir, I did not. Why not? Um, I wanted to follow my dream of singing. I've been singing and rapping for uh, quite some time now, and that's what I wanted to do, so I went for it. And here I am. Um, looking back, was that the best decision for you? It definitely was, yes. Now, what yeah. do you advise someone thinking about, I mean, watching this interview, thinking about finishing high school, thinking about maybe going to college, but trying to do the music career thing too. Do you, do you suggest somebody waves college or do you, like you did, or do you suggest they try it and, and maybe attempt it and do the music thing at the same time or what? I would definitely tell someone to go to college and also follow their dream of, you know, if they're into music because you can never learn too much within it, you know? Now, jobs you had growing up, if any? I worked at McDonald's. That was my first job. Um, that was a great experience for me. I learned a lot of customer service, you know, and I learned how to present myself. I used to be really shy, so I broke the shyness working at McDonald's. <laughs> Any other jobs? I worked at Winn-Dixie, a grocery store. That was really fun for me because I've always wanted to scan items, scan items as a kid. So that was fun for me, and I've always had great customer service. So that was a great experience as well. Quit these jobs? Got fired from these jobs? I quit. <laughs> Every job I work, I quit. <laughs> because I always stop for this music. Always. Any crazy stories dealing with any of these jobs you just mentioned? Anything out of the norm? No. No crazy stories from work. I've always had great experiences at my jobs. Now, what about your parents? Are both parents in your life? My mom is. My dad's not. My dad tries to be now, but my mom is definitely in my life. What's your relationship with your father nowadays? Um, I just really don't. I don't talk to him at this moment. By choice. What about as far as siblings? Are you the only child? No, I have a little sister. Is she into music as well? She's not. She's actually in the military. She's serving our country. Anybody else? Do music aside from yourself and your family? No, sir. I'm the only person. Now, what does your family think about your music career? They are behind me 100%. They have always been. They love that I'm into music. They love how much I cherish it. You know, everyone in my family knows how bad I've been wanting this and how long I've been wanting it. So they're behind me 100%. Have they seen you perform? They have saw me perform when I was living in Florida. They definitely did a couple of times. In regards to your parents, what's the worst thing you put them through? The worst thing I put my parents through is always getting referrals in school. <laughs> that would have to be the worst thing that I have put my parents through. What, I was really what were you getting referrals for? Just doing crazy stuff out of the ordinary that any child would do. I've always wanted to do stuff to make people laugh. So one time I got a referral for pulling my phone out, answering it in class, talking on it. Um, I got a referral for talking back to my teacher at one point and <laughs> making the class laugh. What's your message to the youth, overall speaking? My message to them would be stay focused in everything that you do. You know, never give up on nothing. Follow your dreams and listen to your parents. They'll never lead you wrong. Now, how did you get into hip hop music? I got into hip hop music from the Havoc Jones group. They did hip hop. And when was this? This was about two years ago. Okay. 
Now, are you categorized more as a rapper? You categorized more as a singer or, or what? Both. It's a mix. I sing and I rap in my songs. So like, you'll once you hear my music, you'll hear the singing, you'll hear the rapping. I just mix it up. You lean a little more towards the singing or more towards the rapping? More or? towards the rapping right now. More towards the rapping more, so to speak. Any musical influences? Anybody that inspired you? Definitely. Future. <laughs> I love Future. Um, but females, Beyonce, Alicia Keys. I definitely looked up to those ladies. And Aaliyah. Definitely Aaliyah. How many years would you say you've been perfecting your craft for? Um, for about six years. Do you remember your first rap or first song you were singing? I do. Uh, back then? My first song I sung at a talent show was Alicia Keys, If I Ain't Got You. Did you win the talent show? I did. <laughs> I won <laughs> first <good>. place. <laughs> That's good. Now, when it comes to the music industry, what bothers you the most about it at this point? What's your biggest pet peeve, if anything? My biggest pet peeve is... I would have to say a lot of people sleep on you. I'm here to wake them up, though. Who do you blame for that? Do you blame record labels, executives, or listeners and consumers? I actually blame nobody for that. I can't, I can't put a finger on it. I don't blame anybody for it because, you know, if you're an artist and you're really hungry for it, they'll hear you. You'll wake them up. Top three things you need in the studio? A blunt. I want nobody in there. <laughs> I want to be by myself. And the air conditioner to be off. Now, when you say blunt, what type of strain of uh, marijuana? Kush. The Kush. The loud. Doja. And would you say you're a loner in the studio? I am. I'm definitely a loner. Why? Um, I like to focus when I'm in the studio, because I like my art to be critiqued. Craziest studio story, if you have one. I don't have one, I'm sorry. I don't. Not yet. Not yet. Hard to have a crazy studio by yourself, <laughs> a studio story by yourself, huh? It is. <laughs> now, okay, I'm sure you come across a variety of beats. Have you ever received a beat that you passed on that became a bigger song for somebody else? Not yet. Not yet. What's the realest song you ever wrote so far in your whole catalog of music? Savage. What was that about? It's about a woman being a savage because a man did her wrong. So she had to turn into a fucking savage. Based on a true story? Definitely. Risk versus reward. What's the biggest risk you took for your music career so far? My biggest risk, I would have to say, was leaving the Havoc Jones group and becoming a, a solo artist. You know, I stepped out on faith and went to do it myself, you know. Proudest accomplishment so far in your music career? Working with Cassius J. That would have to be my, the best thing that ever happened to me right now. He's a producer that works with Zaytoven and yes, He's produced awesome. for a lot of big artists. Oh yeah, I think Justin Bieber, right? Justin Bieber. I, I believe he might Justin Bieber. Lloyd, um, a couple people. Future. Yeah. Young Future. Thug. Yeah. What's the biggest misconception of you? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? What's the biggest misconception of you? What's one thing people think about you, but it just isn't true? She's so mean. She's stuck up. She thinks she the shit. That's a lot. That's a lot that I hear about people when they say, when I met you, I thought you was stuck up. I thought you was mean. I thought you thought you was the shit. But you hella cool. Like, that's what. Where do happened. they get that from? Why do they think that? I think it's my eyebrows. <laughs> Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? The craziest rumor? I have not heard any rumors about myself. That's good, right? That's great. <laughs> Do you care what people think of you? I don't give a fuck what people think of me. 
I'm a fucking savage. I don't give a fuck. Why not? Because I don't. I'm my own person. This is my life, you know? I'm living it, not them, so why should I care? I don't. What are your keys to success? Repeat that question again. What are your keys to success? My keys to success is me staying focused on everything that I do.